In this video, you'll learn to make assignments and view reports and portfolios. There are some prerequisites. In order to make assignments, you'll need to have students to whom to assign the work. If you click on this Assignments button, there'll need to be some students in this field. A prior video instructs you on how to do this. In a similar manner, you will need to have logged in as a teacher. In a prior video, we created a fictitious teacher named Suzanne Davis. And finally, you'll need to have some published activities. In prior videos, we created these activities in fractions and in phonemic awareness. You'll need to some, have some published activities. If you meet these prerequisites, you can move ahead. Click on the Assignments button to get started. In the upper right corner, there's a button labeled Add. This is to add assignments to the students. Click here and it takes you to the Published Activities area. We'll add a first assignment named Adding Fourths and Eighths. Double click and we can then select all to make this assignment apply to all the students. Let's add another assignment. Sort Ending BDF. Instead of double clicking this time, I'll choose the Open button at the bottom of the screen. And again, select all so that both students have access to this assignment. I'll click OK and then sign out as Suzanne Davis so that I can sign in as a student. In your trial version, your screen will look something like this. I'll sign in as Hannah Williams. Hannah sees those two assignments that she's been given and when she chooses one of those, I'll choose Sort Ending BDF, she'll receive some explicit verbal instructions. In this activity, you will listen for ending sounds. Click Show Me to learn how to use this activity. Click Practice if you're ready to try some problems by yourself. You can see how the direct and explicit instructional strategy is so important for the student experience. You'll also notice that the entire screen is occupied with this educational activity. There's no longer a reference to customize and publish as you saw in prior videos. And also the student isn't looking at the menus at the top of the screen or the taskbar at the bottom. If they move the cursor to the very top of the screen, they can do so, but typically the educational activity occupies their field of view. We'll go ahead and move into practice. Practice. Listen for the ending sound and move the card to the column with the same ending sound. Rub. We'll then fast forward this activity and rejoin at the end of challenge mode. Hannah has come to the end of challenge mode and she'll click the go button to check her work. <laughs> You got 5 out of 6. Congratulations, you're all done. Click the Done button to close. When she clicks that Done button, she's essentially handing in the work to her teacher, which will generate a report automatically. So Hannah's work has thus far generated a report, but we also want to generate a portfolio. In order to do so, we'll go into Creativity Tools, and Hannah will use Make a Book. It's a very simple, easy to use activity with which Hannah will create a book. She'll use these backgrounds and insert a background of the desert and then use these pictures to add more. We'll rejoin as Hannah finishes the project. Hannah has created the first page of her great dinosaur adventure, which even includes a full motion video, and she's ready to hand that in to her teacher. She clicks on the Done button again, and the process starts. She has named her work and saved it, and automatically thereby created a portfolio. So when she signs out, and then you sign back in as Suzanne Davis and enter that password, 
you get a chance to view the report in the portfolio. Let's move into View Reports. Hannah shows up, and here's her activity. Simply double click. This brings up your web browser, and it delivers the report to you. It shows you the percentage correct, the correct on first try. It gives you each question exactly what time it was accomplished and exactly what answer was given. When you move back to Classroom Suite, you can then view the portfolio. Again, we move into Hannah's World to see the Great Dinosaur Adventure. And this is what you're able to show Mom and Dad on that parent-teacher conference occasion and what you can use for your writing rubric. So, we've used Classroom Suite and very quickly learned how to make assignments, how to view reports, and how to view portfolios.